just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Just making my coffee. On my way to work, you guys, let me tell you, it's super early. 624 now. And with my new job, I have to be to work at 7 o'clock. It's so early. Y'all know I am not a morning person. I hate the mornings thankful to have a job so not complaining there but I just don't do mornings you guys I'm no good in the mornings my motto is in the mornings when I'm at work I gotta fake it to make it fake being nice fake smiling until I really feel it which is around 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah so just making my coffee in my to-go container and then we are going to go I'm also packing my lunch, which is just leftover pasta. Put that in my little lunch bag. And I think that's it in here. All right, you guys, I'm so tired. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is super early. Just letting the car warm up a little bit. And the good thing about going to work this early at this office is they, um, I keep lotion in my car, um, but it's cold and my hands are super dry. My hands always get dry, really dry in the winter. Between my hands and my lips, they get really dry. Anyway, what was I saying? This office now, it, um, they work from 7 to 3.30. They only take a 30 minute lunch, which I'm not used to. I'm used to an hour lunch, but I'm not complaining. It's just, you know, I gotta eat faster and gotta make sure I remember, hey, it's only 30 minutes, not an hour. And um, what else? I kinda like getting off at 3.30. It's pretty cool. And it's not that far from my house. I know I didn't tell you guys much about it. The doctor seems really nice. Everyone there seems really nice. No condescending, you know, ways or anything like that. I think I'll be there a while. It is 44 degrees, you guys. It is so cold out here. This is what I call my coat, which is my sweater. I don't wear coats. All right. you guys I'm so tired when I get there usually my eyes I feel like my eyes are crossing because I'm still tired and all I can think of is I cannot wait until 3 30 can't wait until 3 30 yeah. but lunch goes by pretty fast because it's only 30 minutes and then when I come back it's like you blink and it's time to go home which I can't wait to come home so I just got to work but I want to show you guys something I don't have to go in until 7 so I still have time Anyway, I think earlier I said it was 45 degrees. As I started driving, the temperature actually dropped. It dropped to 34. So I guess it was 45 in the garage and 34 when I was driving, but now it says 37. But look at the little snowflake next to the um, number, you guys. I've never seen that before. But I haven't had this car a year yet. I got it in July of last year or June. So yeah, I just think that's kind of cute, the little snowflake, but it is super cold. So I'm just now picking up the camera since I've been home. It's 9.30. I just edited a vlog and I'm trying to get it uploaded, but something's going on with my internet. It's being really slow. It's saying an hour and 15 minutes. It should not take that long. So that's all I'm doing right now. This is what crappy internet does to your videos. You guys, remember 
this body scrub or hand scrub, whatever, that I got when I went to Apple Hill. So I forgot I had it because I had to hide it from my kids because I had it sitting here on my bathroom sink and every time they came in here when they washed their hands they would be like ooh and I'm like no what mine is not yours we are not married so yeah they use quite a bit of it and like I said I had to hide it and then I forgot about it until today I'm like didn't I have a hand scrub or whatever so I'm pulling it out I'm going to use it and I'm actually going to use it on my feet because it is winter time and my feet are a little dry so Gonna do that so now. you guys, my neighbor, the one that we watch her house when she goes on vacation, every time she goes on vacation to like, I don't know, some fun place or even for Christmas, she always thinks about us and brings us back tiny little trinkets or stuff like that. So she gave me this for Christmas and she gave the girls like a small one also and then she gave Tyreek something different. But she gave me this and look, it's really pretty. And then this is the bottom and it just says handmade food safe and then maybe the person that made it Aiden Arden I don't know anyway so isn't this cute I don't know what to do with it but it kind of reminds me of those you know those clawfoot bathtubs that's what it reminds me of kind of so yeah it's super cute and I have it here in my bathroom even though it does not match anything so yeah I don't know what to do with it um, I know it could be used for a soap dish or I don't know for people to put change or if you have rings in it or something like that but I don't know I will see but for now it's just in my bathroom hello happy Thursday it's finally Thursday um, I do work now on Fridays my new job you guys I work from 7 to 5 so it's only five hours so can't complain there but y'all know I'm not a morning person but I always complain about getting up in the morning that's just me but I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my new job I given out too much information um, there's two offices and one office is like really high-tech and the newest dental gadget and there's no paper charts everything is chartless and then the second office the one that I'm at it's like a dinosaur office they still deal with charts and I know a lot of offices still do that you may go to an office that still has the paper chart I have not used like a paper chart in years so when I'm looking up x-rays I go straight for the computer but no they still have the old way of taking x-rays they don't have the digital x-rays where they take them and you see it automatically they still have to go with the little film and then in the dark room and process the film and I remember doing that years ago but that's how old the office is and also you guys okay you guys remember this this is how I keep track of my time but we don't you know how you use the machine and you slide it through and they don't even have that you just have to write your name and it says like the first half so I'll write my name and then the dates and then I'll go through here it's like the first through the which one's this one this one's the first through the 15 and then the other sides the 16th through the 31st so we just write in our times like what time we got there what time we went to lunch what time we came home it's so weird and they don't have a particular spot to keep it in they said keep it with you I'm like okay this is weird I'm not complaining at all it's just this is different and eventually from what I heard they are going to update this office and I know everyone is going to hate it because I remember the office that I was working in years ago when we made that transition to chartless and getting everything on the computer it was like pulling teeth ha, pun intended um, no one liked it so I can't wait till they do that because this pulling charts and looking for x-rays in the chart and all this stuff that's just like that's ancient <laughs> so anyway yeah it's early it's 4 24 and I am home you guys I've been home for about 30 minutes now I don't work far from home and it didn't take me that long to get here I am tired I'm super tired I'm not in for the night I'm gonna run an errand with Cheyenne in a little bit she gets off at 5 30 so she'll be home at 6 so I'm in Cheyenne's car and we just ran a 
do errands and we are in line for Jack in the Box. We are getting dinner, but it's breakfast for dinner. And that's about it. Just a boring night. What did you do back there, Savannah? Oh, oh you're back there cracking up. And Shine is right here. And we came, okay, so we're in line for Jack in the Box, right? And where we are, there's three people facing the window and Savannah waved at them. And we have to sit here and it's like, well, it's very awkward now. Thanks, Savannah. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. I feel like I'm walking around like a zombie. It's 6.22. I leave at 6.30. Because um, I have to be to work at 7. I think I told you guys that now. I have to get up so early. And I'm already not a morning person. This is not me complaining. But I'm just not a morning person. You guys know this. So it's Friday. But the good thing about Fridays at this office is I get off at 12. Later on, that may change. She, They said I may go till 3.30. But right now, it's 12. I'm happy. But at 12 o'clock today, I'm going to run up there like the cartoon characters. You know how they run. They kick up their feet and they wheels. They feet spin in a circle. You see dust? That's going to be me today. I'm going to leave so fast because I want to come home and take a nap. I'm so tired. So let's get this five hours over with so I can come home. Okay, so I am home from work. I stopped off to Winco. It's not even one o'clock yet. I got some things to make soup. You guys know how I love my soup. It's an inexpensive weight. I do have other stuff to eat, but I really actually love the soup that I make. But I got stuff for that and I wanted to show you guys. So this mug that I use from, you know, Ray Dunn that I showed you guys a couple videos back says work and I thought it was gonna be slippery because it's just made out of the other stuff that the Ray Dunn things are made out of, the ceramic, but it's not that slippery and it stays just as cold as a regular mug would. You know, the mugs that I have here at home from Ray Dunn. So it doesn't last any longer. I didn't get it for that reason. And I, th I thought because it was ceramic that it was actually going to be hot on my hands when I held it, but it wasn't that bad. It felt, it didn't burn my hand, put it that way, when I was holding on to it to drink. I don't know if I'll take it to work often because I am clumsy and I don't want it to break, but I thought it was cute and I wanted to try it out for the first time this morning, so I did. I'm going to make my soup. I'm going to take a nap. There is no ladies Bible study tonight because the pastor's wife, her father passed away and they're making a bunch of reservations to get on a plane and go back to where her dad lives. So we're not gonna have Bible study, get to sleep in. I mean, sleep in, <laughs> I get to rest tonight. So let me make my soup because I think I'm rambling and I'm not making any sense. Okay, you guys, this is everything that I'm going to use to make one pack of soup. And I know I showed you guys this before. The only thing that I've started using that's new is I found these scallops and it tastes really good in it. But it's just my shrimp, now the scallops, sriracha, um, a pack of noodles, of course, hot links, and you drop an egg when it's almost done, and then cilantro, and it is so good. And if you're wondering why I don't make like a pot of it, we do it individually. Um, we make our own separate one because sometimes one person wants it when the other one doesn't. And if I make too much or more than one pack of noodles and try to split it like that, it will be, the noodles will get soggy and it'll be nasty individual wise. So. Savannah, um, she's going to make hers a little bit later. She is in the room. So yeah, I'm going to do this and take a nap, y'all. I'm so tired. Did I say that like 12 times? So it is six o'clock. Y'all, I need my hair done really bad. Anyway, I took a very, very much needed long nap and now I'm about to go to the store. <laughs> Why'd you go in there? <laughs> it should have a sign that says 21 and over. <laughs> I've always wanted to go in there before. And your 
dream is accomplished. And you're happy? What did you do? You just ran around in there? Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're home from Winco and Walmart, and we got to put all this away. Okay, so everything is put away, but I wanted to show you guys. This is the rice pot that I got. I got it from Walmart. This is one of the better ones that they have. At least I hope it's better. Okay, so this is the pot, and you open it up, and that's the rice cooker right there. And it also came with, I'm trying to do everything with one hand, you guys. It came with a steamer, of course. And then a little spoon to get the rice out and then one of the little measuring cups. So I will use this for the first time tomorrow, you guys, and I will let you know how it worked out. Um, hopefully good. The only thing, when I make rice and when there's still some left over, I usually take the rice pot because it has a glass cover or it had a glass cover and I would put it in the refrigerator. But now I don't have that. So... When there's leftover rice, I'll probably have to just transfer it into something else or find something that I can cover this and put it in the refrigerator. I don't know. I'll see. Hello, everybody. It is Saturday. Not morning. It's 122. I've been up a long time, but I am just now pulling out the camera, starting to make gumbo. I have everything going on the stove here, and I'm actually using my new rice pot right now. So that's going. We'll see how it is hopefully it works out really well for me uh, like i said i'm just making gumbo so right now there's chicken at the bottom that's onion and parsley and then i have sausages in there and i'm going to make start making the gravy the shrimp and the crab right there so that is going to be dinner later you guys So just wanted to show you guys my gumbo. It is so good. I tasted it. I had Savannah taste it. She's, her and I are the only ones that are here right now. But oh my goodness, it has shrimp, crab, chicken, sausages, the good sausages, the andouille. If I said that right, I don't know. So, oh my goodness, I cannot wait to eat this, you guys. So you guys, I barely picked up the camera. It's 10 minutes after six and about to eat dinner and watch The Nun. We have not seen that yet. You guys know we like scary movies. I'm a sucker for scary movies, even low budget ones that I know are going to be not good. I don't know why, I just have to watch them. So yeah, Tariq is not here right now. It's just me and the girls and it's been a boring day. Just made my gumbo. And if you guys want to know how I make it, if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description box. If not, um, a while back I did a video on how I made it. So you could just scroll back and see that. If I forget to put a link in the description box. So yeah, I know people make gumbo differently and people are, you know, always say do it this way or do it that way, whatever. And tips and tricks and how people do their gumbo, that's fine and all, but I make mine this way and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, not that I'm not open to other opinions or other ways of doing it. It's just, this is how I make it and this is what's good to me. And some things that people put in their gumbo, I don't. Like, I don't put oysters in mine. I like oysters, but not my gumbo. The way I have it is pretty basic and that's how I like it and that's it. And we're watching Friends. Okay, so we just watched The Nun. The dumbest movie ever it was an hour and a half of my time wasted I do not want the DVD now I told you guys I'm a sucker for scary movies scary movies I buy a lot of them I watch if it's on Netflix or whatever I'll watch them even though I know they're low budget whatever I don't know I just didn't like the nun have you guys seen the nun and what did you think I rather see the new Halloween it'll be way better than the nun so yeah have you guys seen Bird Box on Netflix? I think we watched it the night that it came out. <laughs> and then of course all the memes came out afterwards about the movie and then people are doing the Bird Box challenge. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. That wouldn't be good trying to live a day, <laughs> you know, with blindfolds on or whatever. So. Well, Tariq's not here, but me, Cheyenne, and Savannah are in Cheyenne's car because my carbon monoxide, um, alarm started beeping 
and I think I probably should just change the batteries but we call SMUD just in case and they told us to go outside to fresh air and they would send somebody over so this is really this is scary because Savannah earlier she said she started getting a headache but she didn't but she didn't feel sleepy did you well, now I am. Now you are. I think it's all in our minds because Cheyenne is all of a sudden well, saying that our five, so my I don't nose know. hurts and my throat hurts. Yeah, <clears throat> I think it's in our mind. Back here. But I've also been up since five o'clock, so I don't know if that's it. Right. Okay. Well, I hope they hurry up and come because I don't just want to sit in the car in the cold. And I'm really tired. I'm about to go to bed too. Yeah. Okay. So we're back in the house. We are not gonna die tonight of carbon monoxide poisoning. Hopefully never. But anyway, they. I called some of, like I told you guys, they came and checked, and there's zero percent carbon monoxide in the house that we are going to smell. And apparently, I'm thinking it's just the batteries off the little carbon monoxide thing, but they said every seven years, it starts beeping twice every 30 seconds, and that means you need to replace the whole system. And I'm thinking it just needed batteries, but what I didn't know, I'm looking at my hair because it looks a mess. Anyway, what I didn't know, there's a little filter here that detects the carbon monoxide. So they don't want anyone messing with that and trying to change the filter. So after seven years, you just need to toss it and get another one. So we are going to go to Walmart to get another one, you guys. So I did go to Walmart and got another carbon monoxide alarm. And it's exactly like my old one. So I put it up there. And it also came with a smoke detector. So I just put it there for now until I can put it up where the other one is. So these one are 10 years. So yeah, next time it starts beeping, <laughs> um, the two chirp beep that we heard earlier. Now we know we're not in danger. I just need to get another one.